Hi, and welcome to WaveLab. In the montage video, we talked about some of the basics of the interface layout in WaveLab. If you're unfamiliar with how the tool and meter windows can be arranged via moving, docking, and saving layouts, I suggest you review that in the montage video first. In this video, I'd like to show you the audio editor environment and some of its primary functions. The first thing to point out is that unlike the audio montage, changes made in the audio editor are written to the file on your hard drive. So if you want to retain an original, unedited copy, it's important to start by invoking a save as operation. Like in the montage, the ribbon is organized into broadly similar tabs, with the fade and envelope tabs being replaced by correction and spectrum. However, you will find that many of the individual tools within the tabs vary slightly from those in their montage counterparts to reflect the specific requirements and capabilities of the editor environment. Before we look at some of the specific editing tools, I'd like to point out that there are four different modes of visualizing your audio file. A standard waveform view, the rainbow waveform view, useful for picking out specific frequency features, a spectrum view for precise spectral editing, and a unique wavelet view, which provides high time resolution for high frequencies and high frequency resolution for low frequencies. Some tools in the ribbon, like time selection or cut, copy, and paste, may seem familiar. However, I encourage you to explore them fully. Many offer multiple options or alternative operations that can be accessed from drop-down menus and provide functionality that goes beyond what you may initially expect. In the Insert tab, you can find tools to insert markers, many of which have specific functions or interoperability with other parts of WaveLab, as well as insert audio files and some specific signal types. The Process tab gives you tools to manipulate gain, envelopes, normalization, fades, time and pitch operations, and more. The Correction tab allows you to find and repair common types of audio errors, like crackle, clicks, pops, and clipping, and when used in conjunction with the spectral editing operations found in the Spectrum tab, opens a world of possibilities for applying corrective operations to your audio. The Analyze tab also provides a range of audio analysis tools, including global analysis of peaks, loudness, pitch, and more, comparison of two files, including the creation of a Delta file, and even the ability to change where in the signal flow the analysis is happening. Finally, the Render tab serves a slightly unique function. While you can always press Control or Command S to save your file, including any edits you've made, the Render tab gives you the ability to render parts or all of your file using plugins loaded in the master section. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what can be done in the audio editor. For more information, head on over to the WaveLab YouTube channel, where you can find tutorials, the Pro Workflows livestream series, and much more. Thanks, and we hope you enjoy working in WaveLab.